Hi guys, I'm Dan Hoff, CEO of Honey Stick, here with our official tester, James. Today we got a really special episode for you that was actually a frequently asked question that we get a lot. And really that question is, which battery, which cartridge, basically what blows the biggest cloud? Now, cloud might not mean that it's going to give you the very best flavor experience, or it might not mean that it is just the best way to vape. But to a lot of people out there, seeing the magnitude of what the cloud is, is a really important, if not the most important factor. I mean, James, you definitely have some respect for yeah. things that have a nice cloud. And your yeah. people have complimented in the comments <laughs> the clouds that you have produced testing some of our vaporizers. So Decent, it's important, yeah. but... You know, to, to you, I mean, there a lot of other factors also come into play with what you like for your vapes when it comes to CBD oils. Exactly. Right? It's especially taste. Yeah, and, and taste. So for this episode, we're taking taste out of the equation completely, and we are just focused on clouds. So this is going to be, our vape pens are going to go through and play a little game of my cloud is bigger than yours. And we have the podium set up here for first place, for second place, for third place. Now we're gonna go through, James is gonna rip on each one of these pens and, and you know see exactly how big of a cloud it blows. We're gonna judge it and we're gonna walk away with the top three cloud producing setups. Now, keep in mind, we don't have any, we're gonna go through contenders real soon. We do not have any sub ohm units out here because that is a separate power category, okay? So these are all non-sub ohm units that we offer to produce the biggest cloud. And also we excluded the Double out of the competition, not because we don't like it, we love the Double as our last video. However, because it is really combining basically two pens, giving you double the power, we felt that it was kind of cheating to have two yeah, cartridges no, ripped at the same time. So it's, it's we're gonna actually allow the Double to compete in the sub ohm category when we do our sub ohm cloud uh, largest cloud video. So, James, why don't you go through to explain to our viewers the controls and variables here of this experiment, what you went through, and how these pens are set up, basically. Well, I mean, it started just by taking our uh, natural five hundred and um, filling it up in uh, all the cartridges, made sure that all these were charged. Uh, we have full the, charge yeah, on each full one, full, full nice fill, same bottle, same milligram strength on mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, no cloud enhancement whatsoever. No so PG, no PG, VG, VG nope, adding, yeah. Um, this is our elf replacement cartridge here. Um, this is our high-end beekeeper cartridge. Uh, this is our cloud cartridge. And this right here is a... Uh, That's a Jupiter style. Yeah, a Jupiter yeah this, style. so basically what we did was we filled up these different types of tanks. Um, James took them with the 500 CBD milligram natural, no enhancers, because we want to give you guys a good idea of when you take that oil rip, how that cloud is going to come out. So I was just at the, the World Vapor Expo in Miami, uh, Miami this last weekend, and man, what these guys were doing with this high VG juice and these big watt mods, I mean, we're talking fog machine status clouds, yeah. but that doesn't really come into play here in cannabis, but that's still not to say that you can't get a big cloud, you can't get a distinguished cloud, and that you can't have some fun with it as right. well as, you know, mm -hmm. medicating or whatever else you're using it for. So those are the different types of tanks we're using with our devices. Now let's just run through the contenders real fast. So we're going to start off i'm going to go through the vaporizers here on my side so here we got a mini max regular paired up with an elf replacement cartridge that's one of our contenders here that's our, our key fob we've got a mini max pro our flip fob battery here um, paired up also with the elf replacement tank available on our website we have a uh, auto draw elf that is paired with the cartridge that it comes with out of the box. Now you may say, oh, that's a, this, we have our Defender battery, that this is a sub-ohm battery. Well, no, because I'm not pairing it with a sub-ohm tank. So this is a high capacity, digitally adjustable battery. And because our Defender 
and our carbon fiber in our OG sub ohm kit, one of the only batteries that has your flip over ego adapter so you can fire all 510 threaded cartridges. You just take it, you flip it over, and you can go ahead and put your cartridges on. So we have that paired with a Jupiter style C cell tank. Now, James, what, are, what do you got going on there? Here we have the beekeeper with the high end beekeeper cartridge. Replacement beekeeper tank available on our website. We've got our Phantom with our ELF replacement cartridge and the uh, magnet. Uh, we've got our CBD battery with the uh, cloud cartridge. Yeah, we got the cloud tank with the gold line. It's also available on the gold line website. Yeah. There's a gold line tank on the honey stick site. It's called the oil vape pen kit. And then we have the Bee Master with the C cell tank. So basically, those are our contenders here. Now, James has charged them up, as he said. Each one of them, we put, if it's a variable battery, we put to the highest setting, and he is going to take one rip. We're all camera person included. Yes, that's you. We are going to look, and we're going to judge the cloud and rank these things and uh, see what has the biggest cloud. So, James, are you ready to put those lungs to the test? Let's go. All right. Which one are you starting with? B Master. All right, B Master C cell cartridge. That was that was a pretty nice cloud right mm -hmm. there. I would you know, you don't with a lot of the cannabis products, CBD products, whatever. You're not going to see as dense of a cloud light that's coming out of a smoke machine because it doesn't have that VG, but you really have to try to judge the volume that's going out there. So that was that was a pretty nice cloud. So since that's our only one <laughs> right now, it's going up top. It's going up top until uh, something shows it up. Okay, next pen. Let's go, James. This is the oil pen and the cloud paired with the cloud tank. <laughs> Enough said. That, you know what, half of that cloud, I was going to say that it was about a tie until you started coughing, and then I saw the other half of the cloud go onto the floor. So I think the oil vape pen with the cloud tank does beat the Bee Master because even half of that, it, it basically looked like a tie. So right now, the oil vape pen is taking over our number one spot so those are two stick batteries how it is and realistically if you look at the specs of the oil pen versus the bee master the oil pen battery does have a max cap of a slightly higher voltage and also it has a higher capacity it's a little bit more powerful than the bee yeah. master but it is a little bit taller too you know this is more compact it was, was a small cloud by any means but Oil pen got it on that one. Now we're moving into concealer cat territory here. Phantom. Phantom. Okay, that's a, that's that's a big boy. And that's again on the highest setting, which is 4.0 for the Phantom. That wasn't bad. Yeah. I, I, what, uh, what are you, you think of that, that? That's pretty, t I think it's pretty tied with the gold line. Um, you think, uh, you think it had it or, or no? no? I mean, it, it looked, it looked pretty close. Yeah, it's, it was close. You know, I think she should still stay there though. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, it's, it's a cough that confused me because that... some of the cough went down there. Right. So right now the gold line is still She's at the still top. top phantom yeah. is phantom is is over there now we got the beekeeper paired with our beekeeper replacement cartridge let's see what we got james hmm, that's closer the beekeeper to the to the phantom yeah 
I think the Phantom. I think the Phantom, has it, think the Phantom took it. I yeah. think that was basically B Master. Beekeeper and B Master looked mm -hmm. literally about the same cloud. It didn't hit you so hard to where you you felt a, a, the big cough. Right. Um, it had a nice nice dense cloud. So let let's let's tie. I think it's safe yeah, to say we're tying go. the beekeeper mm -hmm. and the bee master. It's it's a close call. Pretty much the same thing for us here. Um, all right, now I guess let's go to the elf, the auto draw elf. Don't this trust is my the, judgment. The more hits I'm taking, you know. I mean, yeah, hey, look, we're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're judging this, and you know what? I'm going to play all these back before we put it live, you know, in the editing room and make sure that we're, we're giving them the justice that we're nice. giving them. But um, now you got the elf. First auto draw unit, not a push button. So it's gonna he's going to have to work a little harder for that vapor. Well, yeah. I would say that doesn't beat the beekeeper no. and the bee master and cloud. Um, you had a nice, decent volume, yeah, but I think that you could notice the thinner. I mean, obviously you had to, when you push these push button units, you basically just have to very light, it almost like puts the vapor into your mouth. Mm -hmm. You know, with this, you do have to draw it out, but you, you did get a very deep yeah. uh, impact because you did draw it down. So it was a good hit. Just the cloud. But wasn't judging good. it strictly on cloud, which mm -hmm. is what this competition That's is, all we're doing. the elf is not a beekeeper, it's bee master podium. level, yeah. right? It's off the podium. Didn't qualify for the big race. Awesome unit, but for this competition, needs to go back to the back to the drawing board. All right, now we got our two mini maxes left here out of the, the small units, which one do you want to roll with first, the pro or the original? Uh, I'll go with the original. All right, they got they do have the same cartridge on them to keep it keep everything squared same up. Juice. Same juice, yeah, same CBD. High setting. Decent cloud there, it's nice. Oh man, I mean, yeah. you know, you know what? It had a decent cloud volume, but the density too. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think, I think that that probably overtakes the beekeeper and the bee master. I think, yep. just because Definitely. when judging a cloud, you not only have to judge the volume, you have to judge the density, and like the the thickness. Kind of like you have these clouds or these really thin clouds in the air, and then you have these big ones that look kind of like cotton candy. Mm -hmm. You know, th yeah. this had more of a that cotton candy kind of texture to it, so. Mini Max takes uh, the beekeeper and takes the bees off the throne right now, unfortunately. But here now we have the Mini Max Pro. That one has three voltage settings, to whereas this one has one, which is self adjusting. We're on the highest setting. Minimax Pro and Minimax look about the same to me. Yeah, cloud-wise. Cloud-wise. They're both fully charged. You know. uh, feels feels the same yeah. too, right? You yeah. Didn't didn't hear him cough. Didn't set him off. So he, uh, I think Minimax Pro Minimax Pro on the highest setting versus Minimax just going auto, which is it's just auto setting. I think that you're you're bit you're getting the same amount of cloud production and power. And that's with CBD. And that's that's with CBD. So yeah. now we have we have our defender here. These cartridges can usually take under 12 watts. So let's try it at 7.5 watts first, and then we'll crank it up a little bit more just to see really if that's going to affect the cloud. Of this thing. This is really high capacity. It's like over 2,000 milliamp hour battery. So you're gonna have twice the capacity of the phantom four or five times the capacity of other vape batteries you're barely ever going to have to charge it but it is a little bit bigger has a little lanyard clip that's, that's right our out. defender go for it james
storm yeah. so far. Yeah. I, I think that definitely... Uh, no. I, it didn't bring you the cough of the uh, the gold line. Yeah, it didn't give me the cough. But it but gave more density in the phantom. I think it's pretty much tied for first. But that that's we can we can crank it up a little bit more. Let's go to ten. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if. Uh... <laughs> Oh, that did it. Yeah, that basically the intensity of that hit already he was only able to get out less cloud before going into full cough there and it was very thick. Yeah. I was trying to hold very, it back and, too. and he was trying to hold it back. So I think it's pretty safe to say that this is the podium winner. Let's see if we can turn it now down to the middle ground here of like eight point five. So maybe James can withhold so you guys can see the volume of the cloud here of that. But it's the power spectrum is really coming to life here. Oh yeah, <laughs> that density right there. That that is yeah. if you want winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Look at that. There you go. So here's our rankings for the clouds. So if you want a, a vape battery that is strictly going to give you the biggest cloud, you need to go with a Defender battery. Flip that Ego adapter over. Find your sweet spot, between, you know, 12 watts or less, and you're going to get a big cloud, be able to charge it. I mean, that was bringing out a lot of density. Yeah. Number two. What an awesome budget setup here is the incredible, the incredible budget Paired setup is having too. our our oil our uh, gold line oil kit battery oil vape pen paired with our cloud tank airflow holes closed on the highest setting man for basically the, this this whole setup is under forty bucks and you're gonna get big boy power like that and then if you want concealability. Okay, the kind of the best of all worlds. Nice cloud, concealability, adjustable settings, squeeze action trigger, high capacity battery, you're not gonna have to charge much. You can't go wrong rolling with the Phantom. Yeah, the big hit. So, mm -hmm. you know, basically guys, really hope that you enjoyed today's uh, episode of being able to demo the biggest clouds. James, did you uh, enjoy the testing here uh, that we I did? I enjoyed it, I love it. And uh, Always. He, he got he got some good <laughs> CBD flavors. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for lots of other videos. We're gonna come out with like our sub ohm test. We're also gonna start doing flavor tests so we could really help you guys hone in on vape pens for the way you like to vape. You know, please do drop into the comment sections below any other tests you guys can think of. James and I will be actively monitoring them. Subscribe to the, this channel right here, Vapor Store Direct. Hit subscribe if you want to get updates on our content. Also, follow us on Instagram at Vape Honey Stick and Official Vape Honey Stick. Make sure to use our special promo code, Honey420, for 20% off all these cool items on both CBDGoldLine.com and VapeHoneyStick.com. And make sure when you're blowing clouds to vape responsibly. And we will see you next time. Take care, guys.